Okay, so today I would like to go over what we did yesterday in class. Can you tell me what we did yesterday in class? We learned about punctuation. What did you find fascinating about yesterday? I found that learning about exclamation points and where they go is fascinating. That is fascinating. So I'm actually going to read a story to review punctuation today. Um, what do you think that this story is going to be about based on the picture that's in the story? Based on the two pictures, I think it's going to be a sad story because the punctuation marks are frowning. That's a really good observation. Okay. So, this is exclamation mark, full stop, question mark, and comma. They are punctuation marks who need a job in, the, in this book, but they aren't sure where to go. Letters and words are zooming about, trying to form sentences. Where do the punctuation marks fit in? What should they do? Well, I know where I belong, says full stop. I always stand at the end of a sentence. No, I go at the end of a sentence, says question mark. No way, yells exclamation mark. I'm the one who belongs at the end of a sentence. Nobody can agree and the letters and words just keep zooming around in confusion. Ross, why do you think that they're confused? I think they're confused because they don't know where they belong at the end of the sentence. They all think they go at the end of the first sentence. What will we do? asks Comma. Comma stands in the middle of bickering punctuation marks and tries to separate them. There is room for us all among these words and letters, says Comma. Let me show you. You're right, Comma, says everyone. We're tired of arguing. Show us what to do. Comma shows the other punctuation marks how he does his job. Comma organizes all the words into a list and stands between each word, separating them to make the list easier to read. Now that comma has found where he belongs, can question mark, exclamation mark, and full stop figure out what kind of sentences they should make. The full stop is placed at the end of a declarative sentence like this one. The exclamation mark is used to express emotions like happiness, anger, or excitement. And do you know what kind of sentence ends with a question mark? Don't forget, the word that comes after question mark, exclamation mark, and full stop should start with a capital letter because it will be the beginning of a new sentence. While the punctuation marks are talking, they remember the letters and words zooming around in confusion we have an important job, the punctuation marks say. Look how confused the letters and words are without us. Now the punctuation marks know what they need to do. Do you know what the punctuation marks do now? We hope so. Okay. Did you like that story? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So to review, we're gonna do some questions, but these questions don't have any punctuation at the end. Mm -hmm. So this first question, did you find your rain boots? What do you think should go at the end of that sentence? Question mark. Good job. Okay, the duck is yellow. A period. Hurry, it's raining. An exclamation mark. Yes. Okay, Ross, do you want to fly the cock? A question mark. It is so windy. An exclamation mark. 
So why do you think that one needs an exclamation mark? I think it needs an exclamation mark because it says it's so windy. Like, it, like it's making a point that it's windy. Yes. Good job. Sally likes rainy days. A period. Wow, look at that rainbow. An exclamation. Yes. Timmy went outside to play. A period. Where is the umbrella? A question mark. So why do you think that last question needs a question mark? Because it's asking where is the umbrella. It's asking a question. Good job. So Bryce, do you have any questions about punctuation marks or anything that we went over today or yesterday? Are commas going to be on our test? No, commas won't be on our test. This is just punctuation at the end of a sentence. Okay. And can you tell me what we do at the beginning of the sentence? We capitalize the first letter. Yes. And we also capitalize what else? In a sentence. Like if your name was in a sentence, would you capitalize the first letter of your name? Oh yeah, yeah. 